Time to grab that morning coffee. We are getting a behind the scenes tour at Black Rifle Coffee Company, a business supporting our nation's vets and civil servants and serving up a cup of patriotism every time. Carly Shimkus had the chance to talk coffee and the Constitution with Black Rifle's owners. She joins us now with that interview. I must know, did you try all of their coffee? Oh, <laughs> I didn't get a chance to try all of their coffee, but that's because their line is very, very extensive. And you know, it has become increasingly common for companies to take liberal political positions, but Black Rifle Coffee Company is really setting itself apart uh, by its unwavering support for law enforcement, military, and the Second Amendment. And they are incredibly successful, nearly doubling their revenue in 2020. So I went down to their headquarters in Salt Lake City to see what makes this company tick. Check it out. Hey guys. Hey, good to see you. So good to meet you in person. This is beautiful. Thanks. Want to take a look inside? Yeah, would love to. This is our first large scale roaster we got here in Salt Lake. We've got three other really big roasters just outside of Nashville. I think we roasted about uh, 5 million pounds of coffee last year. It's a lot of coffee. Caffeinating America, my friends. So a big part of your revenue is in the gear that you guys sell. And we're making it right now. Absolutely. I mean, not only are we, you know, the world's best coffee company, but we are a lifestyle brand as well. And so we take pride in, you know, having shirts that resemble the brand and stand for things that we care about. Only at Black Rifle Coffee Company yeah. are you getting the tactical Sasquatch. It's it's not just a about roasting coffee. It's about being this really cool ecosystem. We're doing archery and electric bikes and teaching people the hunt. What's the point of working as hard as this company does and not being able to enjoy yourself? You guys went from being in the military to running a really successful coffee company. I'd always wanted to get into coffee, but these wars kind of kicked off in 2001. So I, I said, well, should I become a Green Beret or a coffee roaster? So I chose Green Beret. And coffee was a huge part of your deployment. I was taking an entire separate bag on deployments just as coffee. And Matt, you were an Army Ranger? I was, I joined the Army at 17. I uh, did that for four years, five deployments, got out. This company is about a lot more than just coffee. It's about supporting the military, veterans, law enforcement, Second Amendment rights. So what do you say to people who say, okay, well, we may like their coffee, but we don't like their politics? As a company that's supporting the Constitution and our nation's veterans and civil servants, that's not political to me. That's us defining that we support the people that keep us safe, especially in times like this, where we have this woke culture, and it's like we want to wake people up without being woke. If people don't like us, there's a lot of other places they can buy their coffee. Both he and I took a bow to the Constitution. For me, it was over two decades ago. It didn't end when I ended my service. And you have 500 employees and over half are veterans. You were a commander in the Afghani military. Yeah. You saved a lot of American lives, and then you were being persecuted in your own country because of that. You moved to the United States, and then Matt and Evan found that you were here and brought you to Black Rifle Coffee. Yeah, honestly, when they heard I'm live and I'm here in America, and they were really They thought you were dead. Yeah, and I'm really happy to found my friend we were together. So after the Marine Corps, I didn't really have much of a plan. I ended up becoming a police officer in Philadelphia. It wasn't the lifestyle for me. I knew Black Rifle Coffee was headquartered here. And I took a part-time job up front making coffee for people and it ended up being way more than I thought it was. A lot of what you guys believe in is currently under attack. You have the same people who are calling to defund the police are also calling for stricter gun laws. Yeah, it's lunacy, but I hope that other companies are in the same essence culturally of that we are. Like we support the United States of America. Individual liberty and freedom, that should be celebrated. We should be so happy and encouraging of one another as far as like the company and our communities. Like we still live in this beautiful free country. Let's keep it that way, right? Yep. And let's cheers to that. Cheers to that, guys. You know, it was great getting a behind-the-scenes tour of Black Rifle Coffee Company, a company that a lot of our viewers already know. Matt and Evan, the owners are, are such nice people, and they give back constantly to the law enforcement and veteran community. And I think one of the reasons that their coffee company is so successful is because they are authentic. Uh, what they're selling is stuff that, you know, uh, exemplifies them. It's a fun company as well. It shows the uh, lighter side of military and uh, law enforcement.
enforcement and, and people tend to gravitate to that. Also, they are, of course, celebrating America as you see that American flag uh, flying near their company as well, guys. It's just crazy that their sales skyrocketed so much last year. Yeah, I know. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, uh, nearly doubled their Gosh. sales in 2020. So a lot of people being, you know, working from home, it really worked for their company. Yeah. Um, and they're doing brick and mortar now. Yeah. So uh, those that aspect of their company is is just starting and they're going to try and continue to do that as well. Wow. Great story, Shim Kiss. Thank you. It was a lot of fun. Good stuff. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks, Carly. Yep, but we didn't get any coffee. I mean, what the heck? I saw it in her office. I'm just saying. <laughs> I know it's there. <laughs> Bring you guys. We'll, we'll go in and take it. <laughs>